One back for quarter number three. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. On second down, here's Burrow. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll take this into the end zone from Bengal TD. Tyler Boyd, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bengals are going to jump back in front. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. That makes the score. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there at work down. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get it intercepted and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. Ty Long set to kick off. Long now will kick it away following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back on. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. And it's caught. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Tyler Boyd. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Bengals use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. And he'll bang that one through. A nice, tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score it. Kick it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. 
Carl Lawson. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he will find his man on the outside. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 more yards there and another first down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And down to the 27-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Finding Knox there, complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. This duo locked in, 14 yards there, and a first down. That's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are gonna happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. AFC Championship tilt, third quarter of play. This is second and 10. On the counter, this is Singletary. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Throwing his Allen on third. Now he's got it. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. And the coach has decided to challenge this play. He has tossed down the red flag. The previous play is under review. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter, it's a good running back dive play. It'll be a loss of one, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. I know they're going through all the possibilities right now, but the truth of the matter is a field goal doesn't do them a ton of good. It'd still be a two-score game, so to me, go for it. Go for it boldly. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the Bills are forced to settle for three. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal, you did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 